Jones, right? What's up? What you doing here? You not worried about me. Cause you know I could do 10 years day for day standing on my head. <laughs> I hear you. You gonna do 10 years day for day in somebody's arms? You know, punk sissy. What you know about the penitentiary? You ever been in jail before? You know the do's and don'ts of making it in the penitentiary? I didn't think so. Let me tell you something. You won't last 10 days in here. What you gonna do to take your little gun with you when they put you in a cell with a grown man? A real killer. Somebody who's been in about 15 years already and is doing life and don't give a damn about nothing or nobody. What you gonna do when he grabs you? Can you fight without that gun, you little punk? What you gonna do when you start screaming for the guards and the guards don't come? You can't call for your mama in the penitentiary. And let me tell you something else. After he finishes with you, he's gonna pass you around to all of his buddies. Then what you gonna do, you little sissy punk? So you got a big kick out of the most sissified, cowardly way to take somebody out, a drive-by shooting, where all kinds of innocent people get shot. So if you want to be like me, you can't. Because the difference is, I'm a man, and you're just a little punk. Do you know what it's like being me? I spent the best years of my life in the penitentiary. I wasted my whole youth just like you're about to do. Do you know how many times I've been shot? I got a hole in my lung right now and I walk with a cane. Do you know how it feels to wake up every morning not knowing whether one of your enemies or your friends is going to put a bullet in the back of your head? Do you know how that feels? No, you don't really want to be like me because you ain't got the heart. And since I know you ain't got the heart, I'm gonna help you out, boy. And this is what you're gonna have to do. First thing, I want you to ask the man to put you in protective custody. Then I want you to pick up a Bible and some school books and get yourself a damn education while you're in here. And then I want you to write the judge once a month and let him know how you're progressing in the right direction. You understand that? And when you find it in your heart, I want you to write that boy's mother and you tell her that if you have to spend your entire life begging her to forgive you, then that's what you're going to do. That's your only chance for surviving it here for 10 years. Now get out of my face. <laughs>